This would be the radius bone, a full-size plastic specimen right there. Now as I move the camera over, looking here at the proximal end, and taking a detailed look at a few of the structures. First will be that round structure there. Kind of looks like the end of a baseball bat. It's called the radial head, that part there I'm encircling. That articulates with the capitellum of the humerus. Then next will be the constriction at the base of it, the neck, seems logical, at the base of the head, a neck. And then this bump here will be the radial tuberosity. All this is on the proximal end. And then as I move the bone down, we'll be going toward the distal end, that is toward the wrist and hand. And here's a reminder of where we're at, the distal end of this radius bone. This is a styloid process of the radius. It functions to uh, strengthen and limit the range of motion of the carpal bones in the wrist. And here's the shaft of the radius or the diaphysis of any long bone again being a diaphysis.